Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Bible Dictionary under Babylon. In Doctrine and Covenants, section 1, verse 16, Babylon means the world. There are many wonderful opportunities within the world. There are many wonderful people within the world. We use the world as a proving and developing ground for our mind, body, and spirit, that we might be able to go back to Heavenly Father, full of knowledge, wisdom, and hope. But there are also bad things in the world because men developed minds and they came to fall prey to Satan's influences and they slowly came to see things according to how Satan sees them, and that includes questioning the need for God. And so our, there are things in the world that we should not seek after because they will be no good for us. There are things in the world designed specifically by man through Satan's influence that will lead us away. And we cannot be afraid to stand for what we know to be true, even if we stand alone. We must see the world for what it is, a land of opportunity, and also a land that has many hidden dangers. And while the opportunities are great to take advantage of, there are many hidden dangers along the way that may tempt us and try us and also tempt us to question God and whether or not he loves us. God loves us very much and these trials are necessary. But there are also trials brought on by our own choices. And we make bad choices simply because we didn't see the need to think things through or to listen to any warnings the Spirit might have given us. The Spirit is our warning. It warns us to stay clear of the things of the world that could destroy our spirits. But if we do not listen, then Heavenly Father will leave us to our devices. He won't force us to make a different choice, but He will not prevent the consequences of the choice from happening either. We are invited to see consequences of our choices before they happen and then allowed to make our age I'm allowed to make our choice we are allowed to see how consequences of choices and how choices themselves affect others through the many scriptures that the Lord has provided we are allowed to see and then yet some choose to ignore what they see and learn for themselves because they don't think it could happen to them. We are invited to see much, and there is much in this world to see, but not all is good for us to partake of. But we have to learn that ourselves. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.